A health alert tonight. Cancer patients who have been sent home after treatment could be putting your health at risk. ABC 15's Jay Reynolds reveals the new report and the problem happening at some hospitals. The thing about radiation is, is scary because you can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't, you can't, you don't even know it's there. Nuclear medical technologist Courtney Ducker works every day around radiation, like this radioactive iodine pill. This pill is one of the last steps in the treatment of thyroid cancer. Treatments David Zara just finished after finding out he had cancer in January. I couldn't believe it. It's, my whole life just seemed to be going in shambles. David had to be isolated in this room, lined with lead so that the radiation wouldn't spread. You're so radioactive, you can't be around loved ones or the children or, or anybody. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America in Goodyear, they won't release patients until they know it's safe for the public. We go uh, a few a few more days just to make sure that they're completely safe. But according to a new congressional report, some patients are getting sent home too early with instructions to isolate themselves, which isn't happening. I'm now absorbing the radiation from the patient or from the patient who's sitting next to me, and I have no idea. The report details instances of patients setting off radiation alarms in public areas. That exposure could cause any sort of, it could cause damage to your own thyroid, or say if you're pregnant, it could cause um, cellular uh, damage to the fetus. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is holding meetings this week to see what action they might need to take. In Phoenix, Jay Reynolds, ABC 15.